Hey everybody, so uh, haven't done a video in a while. Um, I, uh, I've been playing around a lot with AI art, right? Uh, story time actually, so I got, uh, um, I got kind of into it, like I was writing something, I was writing uh, my own book for something, uh, like a source book for a game. And then uh, I showed it to the publisher uh, asking them, you know, what kind of rights I needed, if I needed to get, like, um, buy a license or get, you know, some kind of a copyright, um, or, or what I would need to do to publish it and not be in copyright infringement. And then they hired me to work on another book. But, um, I was, I've been making heavy use of the AI art. You can't, um, you can't just do straight AI art and then sell it or at least I don't think you can not from the people that I've been talking to and I'm not a copyright lawyer I'm not a you know I'm not an art lawyer but um the uh the publishers that I've been talking to they say you you need to make it your own somehow you know and uh there's gonna be some steps that would go into it like you would need to take the AI art do some some photo bashing where you're like taking bits and pieces and kind of manipulating it. Or, I mean, like, uh, one of the, the main problems with the stuff is that, uh, like the, the hands are always, the, their hands are a problem for AI and, uh, like, uh, weapons like swords and, and things like that. But, um, if you give it some pretty specific instructions, like, uh, this is kind of a little bit more advanced prompt. This is something that I was, I was playing around with. Um, so I tell it, first of all, there's an order of operations, right? And then this, lo this might look like Greek and it is, I mean, it's its own kind of programming language, right? So, um, basically we're working in an order of operations where, um, I tell it the subject matter, and then as I go on, I give it more and more details, but I want to start with the, the subject matter first, and then give it more details, more stuff to chew on as it goes on. Like at the very end, I've got th some examples of artists who I, who I like and kind of the art style that I'm going for. Um, like Akihiko, um, yeah, Akihiko Yoshida is the, is the guy who did a lot of artwork for Final Fantasy, um, just through the years, um, Square Enix, you know, of course, uh, the, the people who make, like, Final Fantasy, um, Ayam, Ayami Kojima, you know, Metal Gear, and, um, Tom Bagshaw, fantasy artist, and Julian's fantasy artist, but they are, um, they're, these artists are um, in a database of the, their artists that Stable Diffusion, which is the AI that I'm using right here, that Stable Diffusion has been specifically trained on these artists to sort of know what their style looks like. And they're also pro prolific artists, right? Like if I wanted to go in here, I could kind of remix this and I could, well, I could add, um, let's see. And, uh, Blizzard Entertainment. Because that's another artist that it would know that it could draw on. Um, who it's, um, is in its, you know, it's, its model, its training model. So I also have in the very front here, I have a, um, a, a Laura. And then Laura's are, they're, I mean, that's pretty good. Check that out, right? That's, that's really good. Um, you know, the ears look a little wonky, but that's, that's where your, your Photoshop skills come in, right? As kind of fixing the stuff and piecing it together and making it your own. Um, but, uh, the, so this first part right here is a Laura that basically tells it that I want it to look like concept art for um, Fire Emblem, the game Fire Emblem. 
or Fire Emblem Heroes. Um, and then I'm in here, uh, there's different models that I'm using. Like, let's see, what am I using right now? Is this Lyrial? I think this is Lyrial. Yeah, Lyrial is, um, it's a, it's good for both photorealism and kind of like art, like doing different art styles. Um, so I'm on MageSpace right now. MageSpace is, it's one of the AI websites, um, like, uh, another one that I think is really, really good is Playground, Playground AI. Um, and like I was playing around with, um, I wanted to do some illustrations that kind of look like that for, for Delta Green, <laughs> uh, some characters. And you can see like my, my prompt here is a lot more simplistic, um, but, uh, again, like, um, Artem Sisko and Jim Lee are, are people that artists that the, the AI is going to know who they are. They're comic book artists. And it knows that I, I said, a female FBI agent portrait, digital illustration, comic book style, uh, perfect anatomy, just, it, you know, it screws up hands and things like that. And sometimes other things. Uh, center, dynamic, highly detailed, art station, smooth, sharp focus. So this is a pretty simple prompt, right? Um, I, I have not been able to get quite as good of results out of Playground, but I, I think it's because I, I shifted over to MageSpace um, just because, uh, well, <laughs> for one thing, um, playground kind of limits what you can do. Like you can't do anything that sort of approaches more of the not safe for work and is, is, you know, what they call it, like anything that has any kind of nudity in it or, um, like violence, uh, anything like that, that, um, playground is going to kind of limit what you can do. Um, mage space, you can go full on complete, you know, uh, full frontal nudity, you can, there, you know, it's, it's, there's no filters on, on mage space. You do need to filter yourself, you know, like that's not saying that you can make things that are illegal in your, um, your, wherever you are. Uh, I did not tell you to make anything illegal using mage space, but, um, let's, uh, let's do a prompt, right? So this is just going to be kind of a, um, no, let's just start over for, from scratch. Um, so what I want is, uh, I'm going to say, um, portrait, yeah, portrait of a female FBI agent, um, and then so that's the subject matter, right? So we put a comma there, and then I'm gonna say medium body shots, or or yeah, yeah. So that's gonna just be kind of like a head and shoulders, you know, like a, um, yeah, like a this much, you know, kind of a head and shoulders, um, and uh, then. Oops, medium body shot, um, digital illustration, or let's see, comic book art um, illustration. And then I'm going to say by, uh, yeah, Jim Lee, one of my all time favorite comic book artists. Um, and then this is where it's going to get a little more advanced. So if I take, if I take these parentheses and, and we're getting to the very end, right? Um, or, or, well, let's see, let's just see what it, if I just say this, if I just say by, uh, Jim Lee, uh, and, and yeah, I'll use, I'll use, um, Lyriel, um, I wonder if there is a Laura for Jim Lee. No. 
uh, sometimes, you know, there's like a Soriyama, like if I wanted it to look like a, um, like a Soriyama painting, um, Soriyama is just, you know, he's an illustrator who, uh, did kind of grown up art. So we're not going to show any of that on here, but, um, so, okay, let's try that. Let's try that and just see what it, see what it gives me. And then I can kind of dial it in more. Like I can give it more artists to choose from that it's trained on, that it's going to know, like, there we go. That's Jim Lee style, right? So, um, you know, that's, that's not, that's not bad. It's not quite what I'm looking for. Right. Um, so I want, first off, I want it centered. Um, I want her clothed. Um, yeah, let's see. Um, we're going to give her like a, uh, maybe like some body armor. Um, tactical body armor, green, uh, fatigues. So I'm kind of like, I'm picturing in my head what I want this to look like, right? Like I wanted to have some, a little bit of body armor on, like a, um, like a vest, a, um, like a bulletproof vest or something like that. And then, um, green fatigues, uh, Comic book art illustration by Jim Lee. Let's see what that gives me. But it's pretty quick. I mean, like we're so that's that's part of what I'm doing in the settings. Um and yeah, so getting getting there, right? Like that's that's that looks pretty good. And um, you know, like I could come in here and I could use this. And then I could just use my Photoshop skills. You know, I could cut out the, like, like we're, that's another thing too, is that we can, we can put some background in here. You know, we're getting, we're getting pretty close. Like, obviously you can see that the gu guns are really hard for it. It just, it, you know, it doesn't know what a gun is supposed to look like. Um, and then, you know, hands again, it's really hard, but like the face, the, the art style, like uh, this gives you a lot to, to work with, right? And like the quality just keeps improving constantly, it just keeps getting better and better and better, right? And like if you're a, a kind of mediocre digital painter like me, this is a powerful tool. Um, so yeah, let's actually let's do a um, let's do a background. Let's put a background in there. Let's say um, city scene. Um, and we haven't really done any like image to image yet. Like say that I get an image that I really like, I can sort of plug that back in and then, um, work with it again and get something better. So, okay. Portrait of a female FBI agent, me medium body shot center, tactical body armor, green fatigue city scene, comic book art illustration. So I am going to put, I'm going to start messing with these a little bit. Um, I'm going to say Jim Lee and, um, uh, who's another one of my favorite artists? Well, yeah, Sam Julian is another great one. Or let's say Tom, Tom Bagshaw. Tom Bagshaw is going to be another artist that, um, that the, the AI knows, um, I'm trying to think of who else would do, uh, um, like a kind of concept art stuff that would be along the lines of, cause like San Julian is a, is an artist that I like, but his stuff, hmm, let me give it a try. There's also a lot of like boobs and stuff, you know, in his art. So it could, this is, you know, this has no filter on it. So there, it could put out something where the the booba is in the is in the picture um we'll see but um yeah like we can dial it in 
and get more and more advanced with it. I'm not saying that I'm like super advanced with this stuff, but I've been able to get some some pretty good looking stuff. Like uh, <laughs> we're getting there, you know. And and like say that you you just wanted to use this for your game. Say that you just wanted to use this for like you had like a character, you know, or something, and then you kind of know what she looks like. Like we can dial that in too. Um, and, um, say, uh, I, I do like where this is going though. Um, like let's, let's make her, um, yeah, we're going to make her 32 and then it, it knows like, this is shorthand. Telling, telling it that I want it, I want her to be 32 years old. Um, Hispanic. Uh, and let's see if we do um, trying to think of what else. Because, like, comic book art illustration is one thing. If you want to do, like, photorealism, photorealism is going to be another thing. Um, like, you can tell it what kind of camera that you should, that it should look like, or, like, what kind of film, because you can give it, you know, film grain and then kind of give it a lot to work with, like, um, but, you know, this is, this is kind of, this is working. Um, Uh, let's see. Ponytail. Yeah. But, you know, again, like the, the subject matter is loaded onto the front. Um, actually this should go here. Yeah. So the so, so we were telling it what what the subject matter is, where we want it, like you know order of operations. Like I, I want it centered. I want the you know head and head and shoulders body shot. Thirty two years old Hispanic ponytail attached body armor, uh, going on. And then you want to put things like the uh, the background, and then the like the artists kind of like they call the stuff on the on the end descriptors right and then when i put parentheses around something it draws attention to that like say that we um uh say that we wanted i don't know like uh smoke um and no fire right so we would say smoke, um, and then I'm gonna put a little, whatever that, I forget what those are called. <laughs> um, smoke 1.2, and then no fire. Um, or, or 0.8. So it knows that, um, like if sometimes if you don't put the little underscore in there, then it's not going to know. Um, you say oh fire or no fire, like it gets confused. So like if there was like a, like this like with the tactical body armor, it can you know it can get confused with things like that green fatigues. So this is just getting into more of the stuff that we can add on to it, you know. Um, I don't think I actually want like a fire in the back. I mean, I definitely don't want a fire, but I don't. But okay, yeah, there's a, that's a lot of smoke. <laughs> yeah, um, but you can tell it. You can, it's it's trying. It's trying to put that smoke in there without the fire. Um, there's a, like a little tiny bit of fire somewhere. Um, I'm gonna actually I'm gonna take that out. I don't like that. But if there was something like that that you wanted to put in there, you could put it towards the end. You can put the parentheses around it 
and then that draws attention to it and then it knows um like uh say that you know it just it keeps keeps doing illustrations where it, it makes her look like a kid um i can put parentheses around here and say 32 you know um and then it will draw attention to it and uh maybe make her look a little bit older um, because it just doesn't, you know, it's like, well, you said by Jim Lee, and this is what all of his stuff looks like, right? So it's going to make her look a little bit, you know, a little bit more, um, like, age-appropriate, right? That's, I mean, this is pretty, that's pretty good. Um, <clears throat> and then, you know, there's, like, we can go into the settings. Um, I can change the aspect ratio, like, uh, the these are are so a, a portrait uh square like originally square was the model that everything was trained on as far as stable diffusion goes so what it's going to do is just give you a square portrait but it's still going to try and fit everything in there it's just that it's gonna you know that's that that actually looks really good um like say that you wanted to do a um uh, like a character portrait for Roll20, you know, or something like that, or like a token, like a character token for Roll20, um, you would do, you know, just do a square. Um, and then, and also, um, yeah, I can enhance it. I can do an upscale, uh, upscale and face fix. Um, and it's going to tr try and sort of repair some things, you know, like it, it, it might add a little bit of like skin texture or something like that. Like I can go in here. Um, I'll put it. Uh, I'll put it at the back because uh, let's see. Realistic skin. Um, and then when you're doing these right these little things over here these little like descriptors this this basically just gives it weight um if i so if, so i put the parentheses around it and then that tells it um you know i need you i need you to focus on this right and then if i put a, another little weight on the back of it it's, it says it tells it how important that is so i've got all of my subject material and then like the different components and then I come back here and I say when you're doing those last steps you know focus on this um so so you know I, I want it to look like it's by these artists um and then make sure that her skin looks good right let's try that see what it gives me We're, just, we're getting there. It's starting to look really good, right? I mean, that's starting to look really, really good. Um, and then I actually do, I do want to give, I, uh, I feel like um, sometimes it has, it has a hard time. Like if you tell it to do a head and shoulders portrait, it wants to do a head and shoulders portrait. And then you try and ram it, you tell it to squish it into a square and then it just doesn't do as good of a job. You're better off cutting off the bottom, you know? Um, so one thing that's nice about um, Playground, though, is that um, they, they make it really easy. This is another one that I did, same, same kind of style. This is somebody else. That looks really, really good. Um, it's not quite what I was going for, right? Because I just wanted like a character portrait. Um, oh, Carney Griffiths and Wadham. Yeah, yeah, that's a, that might actually be. Carney Griffiths is another um, illustrator that it's trained on, and his art that looks really good. Um, but I like where this is going. So, and then you know, telling it like head and shoulders, um, you know, medium body shot, like. The, the, this looks this looks good and then I can just crop it in or I can put like if I wanted to, if I really wanted to I could in paint in here 
Um, that's probably not how I would do it. I would just do it with Photoshop and then do, you know, do some digital painting and put like a, a little handgun and like a holster on the side there. She still looks like she's like 12, but it's trying. Um, like I can add some, I can actually add some weight to that. And then, um, if you notice one of the things that I'm doing is that I'm going up in scale. So, um, I'm telling it that it's more important that she looks like she's 32 years old than to have super realistic skin. And then once you get to two, then it starts to kind of go off the rails because it doesn't, it's like you, you want to keep all of your little, um, your weights below two, um, like one to two is like, um, where it basically just kind of, it, it goes off the rails. So, um, yeah. Uh, not really sure what else to do at this point. We can tell it, so we can go down here and um, this, you know, again, like this is, these are the negative prompts. Um, and in the negative prompts, um, it's, it's, yeah. Okay. It's a descriptor of what you do not want to see in the image. Like I have, these are just, um, these are some, again, like some Laura's, uh, this is, uh, I think this is in the set. This is in the model. This is one of the, the Laura's that they have built in. Yeah. Deep, uh, uh, hands, negative, negative hand mix where it basically tells it, you know, um, these hands look like garbage. <laughs> Do not use these hands. Like, like the hands need to look, uh, better than these. And then it has some training data. You know, it has like some, some sets of data that, um, uh, it's like, it's been, um, trained on. So that like, okay, let's see, uh, bad prompt version, negative hands, hands. Um, yeah, like, um, kind of like telling it like, don't give her three fingers, you know, don't give her like sausage fingers, don't give her mutated, um, whatever hands, you know, uh, and so that it just, it, it's, it's more, more data that it's trained on that, um, uh, yeah, it just, it just kind of knows to, to not do hands that are in a certain style. And then also the models, the models make a huge difference. Like, um, some of these, um, are going to be way more focused on doing, stuff that is like photorealistic. And then some of them are going to be much more trained on things that look like, um, uh, you know, anime or, uh, like duck I 10. I don't know if I'm saying that right. Duck I 10 is a, is a really good one. It's a really good model. It does some really nice looking stuff. Um, and then this one is trained to do sort of darker, you know, more sinister looking, uh, illustrations, but, um, but it, it does, it's, it's, it's good for doing like a kind of a comic book art style, right? Like that's really good. That's, I think that's really good. And it only took it a few seconds, you know? Um, but you can see that the background is dark. It's definitely has like a darker look to it. Um, she does look more like she's like 32 as well, instead of, you know, 12. Um, yeah, but, uh, yeah. So th one thing that I will say about, um, uh, about, one thing that's really nice about playground is that, um, I can use the, uh, 
you know, I don't, I don't like that. It just kind of, it, it really limits like what you can do. And then I also feel like Mage Space kind of has some better, like more powerful engines built into it. Um, what did I want to do? Oh, I wanted to, um, yeah, it's just, uh, I'm going to copy my prompt from over here. And then plug it into Mage or uh, Playground, see what. And then put the same negative prompt in. Um, and uh, I have a feeling that this is just not going to be the same. You know, it's not going to have quite as good of the quality, but run it, generate, there. Um, and so one thing that Playground does that's really, really nice is that it gives you, um, yeah, I'm going to mess with the, uh, it, you know, again, like you can tell it, you can go up and down as far as the, the prompt guidance, like, uh, I come over here to the mage um, in the settings up here. Um, this is the number of steps that I'm telling it to do. And this is my guidance scale. So right now I have the, the guidance over here at normal. And then if I crank it all the way up here, then it's then um, then that's telling it, I want you to do it exactly like this in this order you know, and don't, don't deviate, don't do anything different. Um, and then th what I feel like it does is it, it makes a worse image because the, um, um, the AI kind of like struggles when you don't give it any freedom, any room to like work, you know, kind of give you something that it thinks is going to look like a good image. Uh, so I like to leave it kind of down here at normal. And then I leave the steps a little bit lower. Um, and then if I really, you know, if I really want to, um, then uh, I'll just, I'm going to run this again. Um, if I really want to, then I can take this image, right? And then I can, I like that. I like that. That's pretty good. Um, I'm going to keep that one. I like that one. So yeah, another thing about um, Mage Space is that uh, you're you're going to have access to some models, and then the same with same with Playground. Like, if you aren't using the most, if you aren't paying for the subscription, and I'm not right now for for Playground, then it's going to give you less powerful engines. You're not going to have the same um, the same number of like, uh, like this is 48 steps and this is 93 steps. And these look way worse, way, way worse. But what I do like is that, um, you, it gives you like four generations to pick from, right? Oh, I did that. I did that wrong. I put the wrong dimensions in there. Um, No, I want, I want portraits. Um, yeah, these kind of look like garbage to me, but I think that's just, it's just using regular stable diffusion and then, yeah, it's using stable diffusion 1.5. Um, and then these are, these are just, um, these are different models that you can pick from. Uh, same, same thing is, is here with, um, uh, on, on mage space, you know, I have all these different models to pick from. And then the, the base models are just going to be stable diffusion. And then, um, 
the the the, the more premium stuff it's going to be models that are really trained to do a specific thing and then they're they're more powerful it takes more processing power right why am i telling what am i uh where am i uh What are my dimensions? <laughs> I'm forgetting. Um, yeah, but um, so w one of the things that I that I do like that I appreciate about um, uh, Playground is that, you know, and and they do you 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 can use the different models. They do have better models that you can use. There we go. That's better. Um, is that it, you can do in painting? They make in painting like super super easy, where um, like I can none of these look anything like what I'm really looking for. Uh, I can pick like I can pick this one, right? Um, and then I can say, okay, I like this one. Um, that might be a that might be a premium thing, because I used to pay for I used to pay for a better subscription on uh, Playground, and then I switched to Mage. Um, but I can I can pick this one, right? Um, and you know, image to image is another thing, but uh, <clears throat> I can I can tell it. Okay, I like this one. Like, do more like this, and then I can also tell it to sort of center, where it it will take this this image right, and then it will sort of build out from there, right? Like, do do more um, background. Why don't you, well, it's not working. <laughs> so we're just gonna, um, so I have this one, right, in Mage that, that we've been working on that we built, right? So I like this one. And then basically I just want it to create variations on this image. Um, so I want, you know, it's like, it's like I'm telling you, I like this one that you did, do some more like this. Um, you know, that's kind of, what I'm what I'm telling it, right? And then over here, Civit AI is just um, these are these are a bunch of this. Um, this is sort of like a database of um, like different different kinds of models for um, uh, for AI. Um, like I can download this model. I can't believe it's not photography. <laughs> if I if I was able to run this stuff locally locally on my own computer. I can't do not have anywhere near a good enough graphics card. I actually really like that. I like that a lot. Um, so I'm going to tell it to upscale, fix her face, and it sh hopefully it fixes her eyes. Um, the gun does not look half bad at all. That could just, you know, use like a little bit of touch up. There we go. Perfect. Um, <clears throat> so, you know, it still looks a little bit too young, but, um, yeah, I really like, I really, really like where this is going, right? And then the background, um, that's, you know, that's like a placeholder. Like if I were going to take this and then fix it, um, like do a better job with it for an illustration for a book, I would do, I would fix the patch, I would fix the, like, the patches on her, you know, on her, um, uh, shoulders so that they don't look weird, like, it doesn't have gibberish writing on it. Uh, she can have a patch, but, you know, it needs to be fixed. The gun needs to be fixed. Um, like, all this stuff, you know, like, her, her hands, um, this strap needs to go somewhere. Right, it's just sort of floating uh, in nowhere. Um, uh, 
I could tell it I could tell it to go in here and then forget the tactical body armor, right? So it's got this image to work from. And then if I tell it, you know, do uh just forget the forget the whole bulletproof vest thing, because I like the green fatigues better. Um, it might just take that out. Yeah, yeah, it did. And then it's got the you know, the patch here on the side, and then this flag is going nowhere. But that's that's stuff that's really easy to fix, you know. Um, right? So anyways, yeah, I think that's going to be it, you guys. Um, hopefully, you know, if you're into this stuff, I hope that helps you. Because I feel like um, if you're just using this for games, you know, as you're like, if you're kind of like a hobbyist, if you're you're not doing digital illustration um you're not doing like uh you know art for a, a book or something like that then it's super easy i mean it's not it's not hard to really learn this stuff uh and uh and then like uh in mage space and um playground they're both they're they're both really good right um, so, but I can, um, like I can go in here oh, let's see, let's go, let's go to mage. Oh, uh, I can go in here and I can just say, uh, FBI agent, uh, comic book. And then, um, and then I can look at these, right? Like I can look at other people's creations and, uh, say that I wanted to say that I really liked how this one looked, right? So David Finchner, I think, so David Finchner, I think he did the art for like, um, what is it? Grand Theft Auto? Yeah, I think he did all art for like Grand Theft Auto. So this person, this person, I think that they're kind of doing this wrong because they're telling it that they want it to look like, um, you know, you can see that they've got these weights in here um, and they are, I don't, I don't think that these are in the right order. Like th this, th the, the subject matter is not really strong enough. Um, it does look really good, but but you could sort of you could mess with this, right? And remix it and sort of dial it in to get it to look more like how you want it to. Like um, 16K is a, is a prompt um, where it's just it's it's more of like a photorealistic kind of thing. Um, you're better off just telling it if you want it to look like a certain artist style. You're better off loading it with the artist, like giving a lot more weight to the artist's style and then putting that somewhere instead of saying, I want it at really high resolution, especially if you're doing like a comic book art style. If you're doing a photograph, if you're going for more of like a photorealistic looking thing, um, then you can really load it with all this stuff like Canon EOS Rebel, you know, DSLR camera, 135 millimeter ISO, like doing all this stuff where it's going for more photorealism, but then telling it at the same time, I want it to look like this comic book artist. It's, it's not, it's this, I, I don't think that's quite right, but you know, I'm not an expert on this stuff. I think mine looks better. Um, yeah, <laughs> uh, there is a lot, a lot more NSFW stuff that's on, um, that's on Mage because you can, because you can do that stuff. Uh, so anyways, yeah, give it, a give it a try. And I hope that you found this informative and or useful and take care of yourselves until the next time that I see you. Peace out.